A man from Bristol is recovering after having coronavirus for nearly 300 days, longer than anyone else recorded in the world. Dave Smith, who's 72, had to have a special antibody treatment to beat the virus, which had been active inside him and causing symptoms for nearly a year. John Kay has been to meet him. All right? Yeah. So. Feel better. Out of breath. I'm nearly at me a little bit, but I'll be, I'll be all right. Yeah. Keep on. Keep on. That is Dave Smith's motto. Most people with COVID have it in their bodies for 10 days. He had it for nearly 300. Whenever a new medical person opens up my file, they, they look at it and say, you've had all this. One person's had all this. They say, oh, here comes the miracle man. Dave is 72. A driving instructor by day. And musician by night. It was last March that he caught COVID. I had a terrible cough. At one time, I coughed for five hours non-stop. I, I don't mean cough break, cough break. I mean cough, 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 five hours non-stop. If you can imagine the drain that, that puts on your body. He was especially vulnerable to COVID because his immune system had already been weakened by leukemia and chemotherapy. For 10 months, he just couldn't beat the virus. How many times did you test positive? I, I, I counted them uh, 43 times and uh, each one positive. A week later, positive. Oh, positive. Will this never end? I'm, I'm praying all the time, I think, next one's going to be negative, next one's going to be negative. It never was. I lost 10 stone. I, I, I lost 10 stone. 10 stone? Yeah. I went from a size 44 trousers, I went down to nearly a 28. I looked in the mirror, thought, who's that old man in the mirror? Oh, it's me, it's me. It's like somebody pulled the plug and everything in your life is just drained out of your body. It's all gone. So what was it like? Positive, 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 positive. I mean, how, what, yeah. what effect did that have on you? I'd resign myself. Uh, I called the family in, made me peace with everybody, uh, said goodbye, made out a list of what music I wanted, played at my funeral. Did you say your goodbyes to him at any point? Did you sort of think, this is it? Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of times when, you know, sort of we didn't think he was going to pull through. So, yeah, it was been a hell of a year. A nightmare. Dave was in and out of Southmead Hospital in Bristol seven times. So it wasn't just that you were treating him for the effect of COVID, he actually had COVID inside him for all that time? Yes, so he had um, active virus in his body and we were able to prove that um, when we became suspicious by sending a sample of his virus to university partners who managed to grow it, proving that it was not just leftover uh, products that were triggering a PCR test, but actually active viable virus. Running out of options, doctors applied to use a cocktail of antiviral drugs made by the American company Regeneron. Their bid was accepted on compassionate grounds. After two weeks of treatment, Dave started to improve. And then finally, a call. You're negative. Didn't believe it. We had a bottle of champagne that's been around since God knows when. Uh, so we popped over and we drank. We don't drink. You just wanted to go out and run up and down the street, shouting and singing. It was like you've given, been given your life back. Can you be sure that the cocktail of drugs is what made him better and cleared the COVID? There's a slim chance that he was about to get better on his own and it's a co coincidence. So, and the only way you can ever prove this is in a, a proper trial. And this is very much a patient's story, an anecdote, but it's quite compelling in that he had been unwell for uh, 10 months or more and then had a recovery associated with giving this agent. Scientists at Bristol University are now studying Dave's case to find out how COVID can change and maybe mutate in one person. Where does the virus hide away in the body? Um, how can it just stay persistently infecting people? And we don't know that. He says he's a miracle man. Is he a miracle man? Yeah, I suppose he is. <laughs> For years, Dave has been a TV extra in the BBC show Casualty. Now he's the leading man in his own real life medical drama. The longest recorded case of COVID in the world. 
Does that make me a star? Uh, <laughs> well, I think I should have a badge or something, or a scroll or something, I, I don't know. So positive about being negative. John Kay, BBC News, Bristol.